Also, there's a proposition on this weekend's ballot for Burleson County residents that could bring in $2 million in annual revenue for the county. KRHD reporter Rebecca Fiedler breaks down this item for us and explains how this change could impact you. If you're a resident of Burleson County, you may have seen the campaign signs around your neighborhood and know that there's an election on Saturday. What you may not know is that a proposition is on the ballot that would raise sales tax for unincorporated areas of the county. So that's areas outside of city limits. Burleson County Judge Keith Schrader explains that county leaders introduced this proposition with the hopes of offsetting any need for raising property taxes as the county's expenses rise. The, the state sends down mandates to the county in, in every, session they, every session they have, and many of those mandates are not funded. Uh, there's also some areas that I feel like we're insufficient in, in services. Uh, two of those, uh, one of those is... Um, a road and bridge department. Another one is law enforcement. Schrader explains that towns such as Caldwell and Somerville already pay the maximum sales tax allowed by the state, just over 8%. Unincorporated areas have been paying less for years, a little over 6%. The proposition includes a 1.5% price hike that will bring rural area sales tax rates to equal that 8% figure. We want to make sure that nobody's using a competitive advantage of the tax of the, of the sales tax level to where it was going to hurt businesses. And uh, we reached out to several businesses. We weren't really able to find out, uh, find any that it really affected. Schrader says this would mostly affect businesses like gas stations, where the taxed customer base would be travelers from out of the county. However, the tax could affect some online purchases as well. I see the merit in uh, raising it to match everyone else, but I don't know if it's going to do much. Joshua Prigmore's family live in the unincorporated community of Gus, and Prigmore feels his family would be happy to hear their property taxes wouldn't be rising, but he would prefer any money taken from rural residents to be used not just for city residents. As long as it goes towards important things like fixing our really crappy roads out in the county that need to be paved at least. If you are a registered Burleson County voter, you can vote on this issue on Saturday, May 7th. And if you visit our website at krhdnews.com, we'll provide you with polling locations and more voter information. Reporting in Caldwell, Rebecca Fiedler, KRHD News.